Well played, Somerset. Hard luck, Knotts. I feel sorry for Knotts. Things haven't gone their way of late. In 1988, Hampshire were the only side at that time never to have appeared in a Lords final. They put that right at the BNH, and in Steve Jeffries they had a swing bowler from South Africa who had returned the best ever figures in a final. In this over, Jeffries has managed to get the ball to swing back into the right-handed batsman, and his line has been a lot better. He had a very good, very good shout for LBW earlier, in the, and that was very close earlier in the over. This one, you can see, swings in. Just a bit of a gap between bat and pad. May just have been an inside edge. That's exactly why that man is there. Good captaincy from Nicholas. Sometimes those things work and sometimes they don't, but it gets 100% the thinking. Mark Nicholas can certainly slap himself on the back, and I'm quite sure his team, and particularly Jeffries, would do the same. What a change. Suddenly it's 28 for two, and his bowler's dismissal. John Morris is the new batsman. happening out there now Chris Smith at first slip again wicket keeper is Bobby Parks there's certainly some swing you see him really shining the ball as much as possible on one side to, to create that swing from what looked like a mini disaster at the start of the morning where they couldn't get their line right have suddenly picked up three wickets Jeffries has taken all three Roberts is the last man out caught again at short leg by Mark Nicholas the skipper and this is almost an action replay of the previous wicket Stephen Jeffries swinging again. That's a good shout. And he's getting a mess. Fitting swinger. Thought about it on Park Constance. But really, that from left arm over the wicket, swinging in. And another big blow there. Jeffries, what a morning he's having. That's again, we're talking the angling across and swinging it back. And that was the one that uh, swung back in with the arm. And uh, it got to be very, very close. and. Yes, I don't think you can give that anything but out. Keeping fairly low, only halfway up the shin, and just coming back in with the arm and making it into a more or less a straight ball wicket. And there's another appeal for a catch, but this time the batsman's not interested, and neither is umpire Constance. Jeffries to Warner. Two feet and onto one of his own. Very nearly the classic left arm over the wicket dismissal. The in swinging Yorker of the right hander. As it is, Warner manages just to get the bat down on it and manages to whack it straight onto his own toe. Jeffries to Warner. Oh, and that's bowled in. Lovely in swinger. Pitching middle and off. Through the gate. Five wickets for Stephen Jeffries. And as with the first four, it's the ball that comes back into the right handed batsman that did the damage. And that ends Alan Warner's little contribution. Bowled by Stephen Jeffries for four. And now Derbyshire, 1 1 4 for eight. Well, he very nearly did it in the last over with a Yorker. This was a good length ball swinging in. Warner looking to play an off drive. And really, 
leaving a fairly large gate, probably just clipping the pad on the way through and hitting the middle stump. Very well bowled by Jeffries. He's kept the ball up to the bat and he's swung it, and showing once again the value of left arm over the wicket to a side. There it is. A great day for Hampshire and for Stephen Jeffries. Showing again his great wicket taking ability. He bowls people out. And all five wickets having come with a delivery which slants back into the right handed batsman. Great piece of bowling. Hampshire's victory was comprehensive. Smith down at long leg has taken one of the best catches you will ever see. Final ball of this 32nd over. And a maiden no. No. The no ball calls. Well. And that just about tops the day off the Derbyshire. And Hampshire win the Benson and Hedges Trophy. They win it by seven wickets. With 23 overs left on their first ever appearance in a one-day final. Thank you. 